Saturday morning. I'm feeling a little romantic right now. I just finished reading Ernest Hemingway's The Garden of Eden. It was published 25 years after his death. And the story is he gets married to a girl. During the time they're together in the Mediterranean, they meet another girl. Both of them fall in love with this girl, and then his original wife starts to sabotage his writing because she's cynical of how it takes him away from her, his attention. Eventually, she leaves, and he ends up with the other girl, and that's how it ends. I mean, it's a great story, especially for an artist caught between love and creating. We're down on the border, like, this place is just not easy to shoot because it's covered in clouds most of the time, which is true today. We gotta finish our scouting and go find a park with canoes for rent on the Rio Grande, which is not a common thing. down on this here border and they are building a new inspection station on 281 North going out of Del Rio to uh, I guess traffic's getting busier I mean we do something like 580 billion dollars of trade with Mexico every year and a whole lot of it comes across that border and up these highways on into the United States of America I like it down there. I get along with Mexicans very well. We're kind of scavengers at heart, you know what I mean? My spirit animal is a duck because they swim, they fly, they migrate every year, and they're scavengers. And they're kind of pretty, but they're also not real big and intimidating. They just hang out, do their thing. Speaking of, duck hunting in Port Isabel or the lower Laguna Madre it's pretty high on the list right now everybody wants to run 80 but man the old van she don't let go in that fast buenos dias tortillas con huevos y queso desayuno tu mama cocinando bueno almuerza barbacoa con queso y tortillas tu Mama, cocinando bueno. <laughs> Dude, Border Patrol remembered me. They were like, hey, you going to Baker's Crossing again? Nope, Hudspeth River Ranch this time. Man, it feels like I'm home. Running into all these, all these familiar faces down here on the border. I like South Texas. It's like a cross between the United States and Mexico. A very pleasant place to be if you're a little rough around the edges. But not as dangerous as Mexico and not as sophisticated as most of the United States. We made it to Hudspeth River Ranch on the Devil's River. I am here to shoot a video for a new company called Explore Ranches. And what they do is basically rent out ranches for people that want to go on vacation and experience what it's like to stay or be on a ranch for, you know, a short period of time, probably a week. But you get a lot, I mean, very private. I mean, a private ranch, like, if nobody else is out there, you can walk out on your porch naked and nobody cares. Like, that's one of the great parts. I, I, I showed up on Wes one day. No, I wasn't with him. 
There was a group of my buddies that showed up and Wes was riding his horse around bareback, naked. And that was just a normal thing for him. That's what living on a ranch is all about. It's having privacy. This river is also highly protected by the landowners. And there's kind of an issue right now because a Chinese company bought up a bunch of land and they want to put wind turbines up uh, that would be in view of the river. And a, a question is, how would that affect the watershed? There's also some negative uh, things attached to wind turbines. For waterfowl migration, they're having issues with birds getting killed by the blades. And then bats, it messes with their echolocation. It's one of those things, there's not a lot of regulation on wind turbines at this point, but there might need to be a little bit. Because there's some ugly parts of the state where the oil industry has already leaked and drilled and kind of screwed up any native habitat that existed. And let's just throw some wind turbines up on top of that. But when you have kind of an untouched, pristine part of the state, it's important that it be preserved for the future. Like, there's not a whole lot of that left in the country. You know, hiking the Appalachian Trail? None of that forest was old growth. Now, there is some old growth forest on the west coast, like the sequoias in Yosemite. Oh, I saw some crazy ad that... Uh, the Sierra Club put up saying that Trump wanted to log the giant sequoias. Are you kidding me? That's not even a good argument. Like you shouldn't be allowed to say something like that because it's so far from true. Whatever. I'm not getting into that. I'm not exactly sure how much vlogging I'm going to be able to do over this shoot, but we'll see if we can work it in. flying this thing I did not appreciate it now that I have tried to substitute something like this with smaller drones I appreciate it a lot more it was insured when I started flying it now and I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all I'm getting about $500 to shoot for a day out here or day two day day and a half something like that and this drone is no longer insured if I crash it it's $8,000 to replace what's on it at this point. An SSD, a lens, a camera, and the drone itself. That thought scares me. Someday, we're going to be in the big leagues and it won't be a big deal. But for now, ugh, super cautious. All I can say is I got to be careful. Shoot very well planned shots and get it back on the ground in the box. Oh, I miss it though. Look at this thing. It's so beautiful. It's like a real camera that flies. I think that's our thumbnail, yo. Alice Ballstrunk, I'm the owner of the Hutzpahs River Ranch. My family has been on this property for five generations since 1905, and recently teamed up with Explore Ranches to offer exclusive access to a unique getaway on the Dells River. We want your stay to be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You'll be well-fed, guided throughout your stay by one of our family. We will share our favorite spots with you where you can hike, kayak, swim in Alice's Wonderland, mountain bike, or just sit and enjoy the view. The Devil's River and surrounding landscape will only remain wild and pristine if more than just my family fall in love and care about this magical place.
Northwest Texas, they just laugh and go, how could you live in that arid place? Well, I will tell you, it is not arid. Well, it is, but it's beautiful in its own right. And it's, even though it is desert, it doesn't totally look like desert. Look at that. Dude, that's the thing about South Texas. Everything down here bites. Oh,